NinjaTrader is equipped with over 100 free pre-built indicators to aid in your technical analysis of the markets. Indicators can be applied to NinjaTrader charts, the Superdome, and the Market Analyzer. Pivot points are widely used by technical analysts to help determine market trend and short-term support and resistance levels. Pivots are available for free within NinjaTrader, so you can get started using them right away. Pivots are often used to make informed decisions about entering the market and also play a role in trade management. Before we take a look at a few examples of using pivot points, it's useful to understand how these levels are calculated. NinjaTrader 8 plots a total of 7 points based on the previous high, low, and close values reported by your data provider. The pivot point value is determined using the average of the high, low, and close values. The accompanying support and resistance points are plotted based on the displayed calculations. Feel free to pause the video and review these for a moment. There are several ways to incorporate pivots into trading strategies. One example would be to buy into a market at support, or short a market as it nears an established resistance point. Traders may use pivot points as guidelines for stop loss and profit target placement. NinjaTrader's ATM strategy and data box features make this trade management method simple. Before entering a market order, you can use the data box to understand how many ticks your desired stop loss and profit target are from the last traded price. Once these values are determined, they can be plugged into an ATM strategy and used. When price breaks support or resistance levels in the market, these levels are typically still regarded. Breach resistance may become a support level, while when price breaks support, that level is then typically respected as resistance. Using NinjaTrader's playback feature to speed up price action from a previous session, we can clearly see the pivot points used as resistance became support. As price breaks above the pivot point level early in the day, this level becomes support, with the R1 marker as the next resistance level. Price action consolidated near the R1 level and tested it a few times before breaking higher. At that point, the R1 became support with R2 as resistance. The market was quick to break the R2 and continue to the upside with strong momentum until it met some resistance associated with the R3 level. From this chart, we can see how key levels in the market from the previous session can have an impact on price action. Reviewing the day with the support and resistance regions highlighted, we can clearly see how each resistance level was tested, breached, then became support. Although pivot points can make a fantastic addition to your trading methodology, they are not foolproof in identifying trends, support and resistance, or defining trade management. It's recommended that pivots be used with other technical indicators and that proper risk management is always a focus in your trading. We hope this video gave you some ideas about how you can use pivots in your market analysis. Let us know what you think about pivots or how you use them daily. Interested in learning more about all of the free trading tools offered by NinjaTrader? Download NinjaTrader today for free unlimited use with futures and Forex data.